Hola, buenas tardes a todos. Uh, pensé en hacer algo un poco diferente para esta clase, para las instrucciones, etc. Yo voy a hablar en inglés para explicar lo que tendréis que hacer ¿m? durante el, la, la semana. Bien, I have here in front of you your weekly instructions for level 3 Spanish. This is for week 5. This term, and remember, we're a week behind because we started in week two. This is our fourth lesson, and we'll be seeing each other on the 4th of Feb at 9 o'clock. Um, I've gone through this in this way, or I'm going through this in this way, because I noticed that some of you missed some of the instructions. This will be the layout every week. Um, I probably won't send you two weeks again together like I did with week two and three. So this beginning here is the things to do before you come to class. So obviously you've got um, Aventura to complete. You all understand uh, what that is now. And so you need to do your first three points and complete the little table with a, what you did, what you learned from it. Now, what you learned from it could be vocabulary, it could be something cultural, um, or you might not have actually learned anything from the exercise, and so you wouldn't do that again. So you need to put that up as a reflection. That just gets copied and pasted onto your blog. Right, number two, you need to complete the activities on the slides four to seven of the first PowerPoint that you will find. It's called Café Chocolate Intro for introduction, and it's in your Café e Chocolate folder on Ultranet. Now, an important thing to remember, we're going to be working with five separate PowerPoints that I've sort of cut up from my main PowerPoint. Um, and you need to use it in presentation mode so you can access the links. There's a lot of um, hyperlinks that you'll need to click on and open to access different things, um, whether that's a reading, a video, for a listening or a song. You'll need to have it in presentation mode. To get something in presentation mode, remember you click down here on the slide. Um, I'm going to show you where those are now so that you can access them easily. So I'm going to go to your Ultranet page. Okay, here's your Ultranet page for this year. It's a lot of really, really useful links that you should be just popping in and exploring so you know um, that this is an excellent resource and you go back to it again and again, but you won't know it unless you've linked on it or clicked on it. Um, Pinterest you might find interesting. It's got like, I don't know, 30 or 40 boards all dealing with different Spanish topics. Um, Video Alley we may be using uh, to explore grammar or different topics. Vertal is an excellent resource that I've already showed you. Um, you've used it for verb drills already. Aldiria is an excellent resource if you want to get some listening done for your um, aventura. And then we go on to different dictionaries, television series, which are great if you want to really improve your Spanish. Um, we've got some great um, online magazines, which are quite, you know, everything's really short. And Spanish is not too difficult. And finally, you've got reading. These are short stories, um, radio online. Spanish movies with subtitles is pretty limited, but there are a few. And podcasts, which are a really, really useful resource for you to explore. And this will take you to your curriculum page, which you don't need this year. Okay, we've got our resources. I'm sure you've looked in course information. I know Finn has, and I know Scarlett has. If you click on this, you'll see your assessment and course outline. There's an introduction to Spanish and your Aventura document. In assessment, you'll find your speech assessment. Um, put into a nice simple PowerPoint for you and I have recorded some um, me talking about your assessment over it. Uh, the same thing with your writing assessment. There's a student guide here and there's a poster which is just an, uh, a visual and every time you click on one of the pictures um, you should find a link that you can go to that will have some resources about those different topics we're covering this year. All right, that's your assessment folder. Weekly instructions, that's where you'll find these instructions. If you miss the email, you should be able to go there and the instructions will be there. Grammar, 
also an interesting folder have a look through here how to just some instructions on uh, getting set up revision we've worked with and your current topic the first real topic we're doing this year is cafe y chocolate all right here are your five powerpoints that we're going to work through we're going to start off with an introduction we're going to look more closely at chocolate we're going to use um, chocolate to introduce you to when to use the subjunctive uh, and noun clauses then we're going to have a look at coffee and then we're going to look at um, fair trade el comercio justo in relation with these two products and along the way we'll look at using the present subjunctive and adjectival clauses you've got a vocabulary list here now a lot of these five powerpoints they have links to different documents that are up on google however if the link doesn't work you may find the documents also down here we're not going to refer to these documents down here unless you cannot use the links for some reason or the links don't work because all these documents are actually linked into the PowerPoint. So basically at this point in time we're concentrating only on these first five PowerPoint resources and the one that you're looking at today is Chocolate y Café Info. Right, so you're going to open that PowerPoint in presentation mode and you're going to work through it and prepare responses to um, the slides four to seven we we did the first three you're going to do four to seven and then prepare responsive to the slides um, the questions on the slides nine to twenty um, there are some possible responses that I've given you as a guide uh, but you can use them or not as you prefer Finally, slides 20 to 24 ask you to evaluate different brands of chocolate and complete a table. Can you post all your work, including the Aventura table, on your blog? Right, so any notes that you've got, any responses that you've given, just throw up on your blog. If you don't come to class, I can then look at your blog and see what you've done. Um, so bring to class your laptop, your responses and your evaluation of different brands and then during class we're going to review those responses that you've prepared, look at your brand evaluations and compare them and then we're going to start working on the second PowerPoint, El Chocolate. After the class I'll be expecting you to finish working through that PowerPoint um, and completing the listening and reading exercises and the final thing to do there is um, an article that you're going to write and you need to post that writing on your blog. Again, your independent learning, which you should be doing all the time in the background, is Aventura, second three points, find something to listen to, play around with face um, book in Spanish. And language perfect, you should start looking at the uh, list, the vocabulary list for chocolate and cafe. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, do get in touch with me, and I hope that this has been of some help in explaining your instructions for this week.